The Advantage Development Process. The Advantage Development Process or framework evolved from my doctoral research into the best way to develop managerial and leadership competence. The way we develop competence, our ability to do something effectively, goes through four key stages. And we can plot these four stages on a simple two by two matrix. The vertical axis is our competence in something, and the horizontal axis is our consciousness of being able to do that thing. Essentially, it's about how well we know how we do something. At the beginning of developing any competence, any skill, we begin as unconsciously incompetent. That is, we don't know that we don't know how to do something. We may be blissfully ignorant. As we become aware that we need to develop a skill, we become consciously incompetent. As we develop that skill more, we develop the competence. And then we become consciously competent. And as we practice and gain mastery, eventually we become unconsciously competent. That is, we get to the point where we don't know how we do it consciously anymore. We just do it with great skill or Talent. Another way of looking at these four quadrants is that we begin as enthusiastic beginners and start to learn, often becoming frustrated as we want to develop the skills faster and more effortlessly. After a while, we begin to gain mastery and continue to practice until it truly does become effortless and we are a talented performer. And all of this takes Time. What we want to do is skip all hard work and practice and all that learning nonsense and jump straight from beginning to talented performer, where you do these things exceptionally well and effortlessly. Many people try to do this by avoiding the two in between stages. A very, very few people who are naturals or gifted can seemingly do this. Mozart could play the piano supremely well at four years old, but there are no Mozart leaders. Leadership development takes time. Done the right way, it can take less time. And it needs four different approaches through the development cycle. You need the edge key to encourage, develop, guide and empower. Right at the beginning, enthusiastic beginners need to be encouraged. For the beginner is being asked to change and move out of their comfort zone. Then they need to learn what they do not know. This is a development process where a good developer shares knowledge of the skill and how it is done best. As the beginner becomes aware of their current behaviour and the changes that are necessary, they need encouraging again. Being able to lean on the strengths in other areas and finding that supportive environment goes a long way to making the development phase easier and less frustrating. Once they know the skills and how to do them, then they need guiding, less teaching and more coaching gently being nudged in the right direction in a safe environment and encouraged again to break through to gaining mastery, then layering more skills and knowledge through sharing and teaching until they have gained sufficient skills to be guided through practice in real life and encouraged again to continue practicing and gaining mastery, empowered with all the resources, reminders, templates, props that they need to continue their own development. Through the Advantage Development Framework, you can take someone from being an enthusiastic beginner to talented performer. What happens without edge in your development process? Well, if you have encouragement only, say a motivational speaker at a conference, for example, then brilliantly you have encouraged your people to make a change. 
only they don't know what they need to know, nor how to do it. So they get all fired up and excited by and followed by bitter disappointment as things actually remain the same. If you have development only, say a classroom training event to teach people what they need to know and how they should do it, that's great, but they need to practice. Firstly, in a safe environment and be encouraged to try something new and different. Both senior leaders and high potentials like this type of training, 43 to 44% of them, but it would be better to be experiential. What about guiding them only? Hmm. Say a coach or mentor who asks great questions and offers support. This is tremendous and most executives and high potentials want to be coached. Only they may not know what they need to know and be unsure how this skill should be done. And now it's just a little embarrassing because the coach is asking them something that they really don't have an answer. Senior leaders and high potentials both much prefer coaching, 56 to 66% of them, but they also want project-based learning to practice in real life as blended, to practice in a safe environment. All will be well if they were just empowered then, surely. Not really. Empowering someone without teaching them, guiding them in a safe environment and guiding them in real life is like giving the keys of your BMW coupe to your kid who has yet to learn how to drive, filling the tank with fuel and sending them off across country without a map or seatbelt. Many organisations empower, yes that is in quotes, by providing only online learning. It's the in thing to embrace going digital. But most organizations and most learning providers are trying to do so to save cost of delivering the learning. This is a huge mistake. You will save money in things like travel and venue costs, but your cost to deliver. That is the time it takes to create and support online learning is as high or higher than more traditional methods. Sure, you can use it many times, but just watch a fabulous training video from John Cleese's Video Arts and tell me how relevant it is to today's young leaders. The other mistake is that empowerment comes from making the learning well, it's available and hopefully some great resources to put these skills into practice. But senior leaders and high potentials don't like this type of format to develop their skills. In fact, less than 12% want to use online learning. But that's because most online learning is done very badly and forgets it is about development of skills, attitudes and behaviours. It's not just knowledge. If you want to develop people in your organisation, in your team or yourself, you need to be encouraged to learn and try new things. But you also need to learn the necessary knowledge and how those skills are done. We need to be guided in a safe environment, supported through implementation in the real world and empowered with the resources to help us sustain the skills and continue to develop them in the future without always having a guide on standby. We need an edge in our development. Has your development got edge? Contact us at leadershipadvantage.com and learn how we may be able to help you implement EDGE in your learning and development in your organisation or team. Music